information is coming out about a trip Secretary of State Mike Pompeo took to China earlier this month. One America's Luke Lace has mourned how the top U.S. official was mistreated by Beijing. China gives Secretary of State Mike Pompeo the cold shoulder during a trip which is meant to patch up relations between the U.S. and the Asian superpower. A source close to the matter reported Wednesday Pompeo was supposed to meet with the nation's president Xi Jinping on his trip earlier this month, but he was rejected and instead was granted only a brief meeting with the nation's foreign minister, who allegedly scolded Pompeo the entire time and placed all of the blame for the growing trade tensions on on the Trump administration. We urge the United States to stop this kind of mistaken actions. We believe China and the U.S. should stick to the correct path of cooperation and win-win, rather than be mired in a wrong path full of conflicts and confrontations. But Pompeo fired back to express his disappointment that China would not engage in productive dialogue to reach a solution as planned. I regret that this The building tensions between the U.S. and China are the result of President Trump's America First trade policies, which have sought to right decades-old injustices which gave China a significant advantage over the U.S. on the world market. President Trump highlighted his unprecedented accomplishments on this front at a Make America Great Again rally Tuesday and predicted his work is getting ready to pay off. We've also taken the toughest ever action to crack down on China's abusive trade practices. They want to make a deal. And I said, you're not ready yet. Through. They want to make a deal. And President Xi is a great person and hopefully will do something soon or someday. Despite the harsh treatment of America's top diplomat, some members of China's cabinet reportedly disagree with the stance their government is taking against the U.S. According to a report this week, some of China's defense officials are hoping to show their foreign counterparts a, quote, friendlier China at the Shangshan Security Forum this week, where Beijing is expected to portray itself as a nation seeking to create peace. Luke Glaze, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.